Republican Paul Ryan recently spoke at CPAC where he said welfare programs should be cut or outright eliminated because they don't give people dignity. And here's exactly what he said. The left is making a big mistake here. What they're offering people is a full stomach and an empty soul. The American people want more than that. You know, this reminds me of a story I heard from Eloise Anderson. She serves in the cabinet of my buddy, Governor Scott Walker. <clears throat> she once met a young boy from a very poor family. And every day at school, he would get a free lunch from a government program. He told Eloise he didn't want a free lunch. He wanted his own lunch, one in a brown paper bag, just like the other kids. He wanted one, he said, because he knew a kid with a brown paper bag had someone who cared for him. This is what the left does not understand. We don't want people to leave the workforce. We want them to share their skills and their talents with the rest of us. Believe it or not, he's right. But for the wrong reason. Let me explain. Let me begin where he's wrong. Every bit of psychology will tell you that you have to deal with your immediate material needs first before you can go on to secondary needs. First, you do have to fill your stomach. You do have to fill your stomach before you can fill your soul because a full soul doesn't make you alive. You literally do have to eat before your life can have any kind of meaning. Ask anybody who lives in the third world. It's interesting how he phrases it, the left. Well, first of all, when he says left, he's actually talking about the Democrats. And it's important to note that Democrats are not left. They're actually right of center. They're liberal. They're not actually left. Now, the very dishonest thing that he's doing here is he's saying how, look, they don't want people to work. They want people on welfare. Well, I'm not a Democrat. I don't defend the Democrats. But what he's saying is outright false. He's basically claiming that Democrats don't want people to work or that they don't focus on that they they don't want to create jobs. They just want to put people on welfare. That makes absolutely no sense. And exactly where have they said that? I've never seen anywhere where the Democrats say we don't want to create jobs. We just want to put people in welfare. Well, see, that's really dishonest what's coming out of Paul Ryan's mouth. Again, I don't even I don't like the Democrats. I don't even want to have anything to do with that whole false spectrum of liberal and conservative Republican and Democrat. But he's outright lying here, and that's pretty dishonest. Well, the question before us is, does welfare cause people to lose self-respect? Yeah, it does. It is dehumanizing to live on welfare. It makes you feel awful about yourself. People generally don't like it. I mean, sure, there's this per image that's projected where people love being on welfare because they don't have to work, they don't have to do anything, and they love living in you know, often outright poverty and borderline poverty. That's not true. People hate it. And in fact, long-term unemployment causes mental problems. You get psychological illnesses that arise from being on social assistance welfare for so long. So yeah, it actually does. But why is it there? People are on welfare because the system literally can't provide jobs. That's why they're there to begin with. Capitalism is not providing employment and it never can. It can in a, a, a few minute historical aberrations, like say after World War II, you know, when there really wasn't anybody to compete with American companies because everybody else had been bombing at the ground. But yeah, capitalism doesn't provide you know, really high levels of employment, at least not consistently. And when we look at the opposite in socialism has always had very high employment rates. The rate of unemployment in socialist, socialist countries have been extremely low. Yet, we're given this perception that socialism causes people to just go on welfare and not work. Then could someone please explain why the unemployment rates are so low in socialist countries? Yeah, usually they don't notice that contradiction there. But my point is, 
yes, being on welfare does cause people to lose self-respect. And they're there because the system literally doesn't provide. I mean, how many times do you go like to the inner cities and there's like a 50% unemployment rate because there's literally no jobs there. And then they tell you, you know, just move, just go somewhere else. Okay, you go to another inner city where the unemployment rate is 50%. The jobs aren't there. And that's why people are on welfare. Why? Because that's exactly what welfare is the human face on capitalism. The one that is supposed to make us believe that it can work. This is the one the liberals like to push because it can appease their conscience that capitalism is causing so much misery. Well, you know, I can live with it in my privileged position in it because it'll help these people to, you know, some degree. So I don't have to really feel that bad that capitalism is causing so much of a problem. In fact, this claim by Paul Ryan that the left just wants to hand out welfare is actually kind of a legitimate criticism of social democracy, because that's essentially what it does. Social democracy is not socialism. It's essentially capitalism with the most human face that can be given to it. Sure, they just want to give all these programs out to help people that are poor, to help people in their daily lives rather than actually dealing with the source of what causes these problems to begin with. The capitalist mode of production, the market forces, the superstructure that comes out of the base. Social democracy doesn't challenge these things. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. It can put a nice, happy veneer over it, but it can't actually solve the problems. And isn't this exactly what we're seeing in Western Europe right now? With the great crash of 2008, the, the global failure of capitalism, what's happening? All of a sudden, they can't afford these social programs anymore. In other words, the value that they, ex they extracted, primarily from the third world, but we'll, we'll get to that, can't prop up those social welfare states anymore. It's not that socialism killed Western Europe. Capitalism did. And the refusal of people to challenge capitalism itself and the problems it causes is what did it. It is important to remember here that the reason why first world countries like Western Europe, Canada, Japan, and other places can do that to, to a limited degree in the United States, only because they don't actually have the programs, can do what it is they do is because of the super exploitation that they carry out in the third world. And now have no illusions. Western Europe does it too. Sure, we don't generally see, you know, Swedish or Dutch or, you know, French troops marching off into a third world country the way we see the United States and the UK. But it does happen. And they do benefit even when the United States and the UK does it. The reason why these social welfare states are able to exist is because they're based off of the exploitation, the super extraction of value from the third world. If they did not have this, those kinds of social democracies could not exist. Those kinds of, you know, nice, you know, really great social programs that are out there for everybody to, to feel better and to give a better standard of living to couldn't exist. What we're seeing here is that Paul Ryan is right, but for the wrong reason. He merely is under some delusional belief that the left just wants people to be on welfare. Well, that's not true. The Democrats want to create jobs too, because just having people permanently on welfare and not working is not a model that would work under any circumstance. But he is right. Welfare does kill people's self-esteem. But the question should be asked, why is it there? Not because some guy in some office in the government you know, signed it into law that it should be there. There had to be a reason why it came into existence to begin with. Because of the failures of capitalism to provide, frankly, enough employment and a stable enough social situation. And that's the very essence of capitalism itself. Competition and upheaval and people going against each other. I mean, I'm really surprised that it creates an environment like that. So yeah, Paul Ryan is right but for the wrong reasons.
Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.